Greetings Peepazoids, my name is Bubs and welcome to day 4 of my 30 day gaming challenge and for this I am taking on a game called Maze, M-A-I-Z-E and this is a game about what happens when a government gets the wrong end of the stick and accidentally creates sentient corn. <laughs> sentient corn, that's about pretty much what I have to say there. Um, I don't know much more beyond that but as with all these challenges, I'm looking forward to trying something new. So let's jump in and see what happens. Maze. All set in a cornfield. Should be interesting. And for those of you who have been watching along, I hope you're enjoying the series um, so far. It's been a lot of fun to experiment with the different games thus far. And I'm hoping to get a little bit more experimental as we get into the tens. Okay, it's a bit weird. Who's we looking through something's eyes? Because this is a little bit weird. Okay. That would be the sentient corn, I gather. Okay. Hello. Well, I suppose we should probably just follow the corn then, right? Oh, cornfields. This feels eerie, but it doesn't feel odd. Hang on. Get some lighting. Sorry guys, impromptu moment here. There we go. Kind of look a bit more human now. <laughs> um, hello? Corn brothers? Are we a corn? I can't see my feet, so... I'll have to see what happens here. Nothing ever good happens in a cornfield. Get some nice, lovely sweet corn out of it, but as far as gaming and many of the films I've seen... Oh, a silo! Um, is this the set from The Quiet Place? Possibly. Okay. Oh, hello. We have an arrow pointing this way, but I want to see what this is. When the pointing hand of Kaibon appears, click the left mouse to interact. So what, do we need three... A slot for a hand, a slot for a key, and a slot for a circular object. I'm guessing we need to find these bits and bobs then. Okay then. Uh, escape or P for the pause menu. Good to know. You get me lost in this maze game, we're not going to have a conversation. You're going to get me lost in the maze, aren't you? Yes, you are. Q does absolutely nothing. You know I'm going to try it, right? Pressing Q does absolutely nothing. Oh, you cheeky game with a bit of meta humour. If I know PC gaming, he always does something. Ow! Ow! Bright light! Bright light! Okay... This isn't weird. You did a great job picking up that item. A new path has opened up to you. Okay. I'm guessing F for folio? Uh, how do we access the folio? Tab. An English... Oh, what did I just press? E. An English muffin. Hard as granite, this muffin is most definitely nowhere near fit for consumption. Despite how much you try, all you've done is give yourself a headache. Okay, can I put it down? No, nope, looks like we're taking the muffin with us. 
I like a good muffin. The egg muffin. Oh, so nice. Okay. So it's hard as granite. Can we use it as a weapon? Maybe. But meta humor and a muffin as a weapon. This is going to get interesting. Okay, so we can follow this path to the windmill. Mega oranges. Is that telling me I need to find an orange to progress? Oh, okay. So we can run. Press the space bar to look at story items in your folio. There we are. A note lazily scribbled. It includes a stock greeting. Encourages the reader to enjoy the complimentary snack on the desk. Stone muffin. Not going to do it for me, I'm afraid. Notes to the reader to mind the boxes. And also says, open the big door and we'll probably say hello. I'm assuming that's the big door we passed on our way through the cornfield, is it? Yep, yeah, left arrow to the big door. Um, hello? Creepy abandoned house in the middle of a cornfield. And that's to the... Again, the boxes blocking the way. When you see the place icon, you can use an item... Okay, well we can't get in there. I'm guessing we're going to have to go back to the big door. Oh, hello. Wrecked car. This could get weird very quickly. Oh, what we got here? A broken shovel handle. Okay, so we can use one and two. Eh, I'm not used to using one and two. Okay, broken shovel handle. And the muffin. Okay, I'll stick with the shovel handle for now. I have no idea who you are, sir. Get in the boxes. Everywhere I go, there are boxes. Um... Okay, I'm going to make my way back to that big door, because... Something tells me that circular bit we saw. We could probably use the muffin to open. Don't ask me why. This game has a very weird sense of logic right now. All right, here's the big door. Now, I wonder, can the muffin be used? Apparently not. Not quite sure what I meant to do. I don't know, can we... Use the bar handle to jimmy open the barn door, maybe? We'll soon find out. Show me your secrets. Let's go around the back of the house. Maybe this has some answers. Oh. Can we open this? No, it's got a padlock. We're going through here. No. This is getting weird. We got a coop. Oh my word, a door I can open. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, a key. That's for the farmhouse. I'm guessing we can get into this door now. Maybe it will have some ants. This kind of holding this looks like a looks like a gun almost. <laughs> Oddly enough. Hey! Alright. Can't shut you. Can't flick the switches. Ah, this looks worthy of note. Invoice for a commissioned wooden statue. Cost is in hundreds of thousands. Items on the list include chopping down a large old oak tree, carved statue out of oak tree, and hospital bills for injuries sustained chopping down oak tree. Now, clearly someone who wasn't necessarily qualified for the job, or at least something that shouldn't have been done as a one-man job. It's going to get weird quickly, isn't it? 
I do like a game with a bit of mystery. Having no talent at the genre, the author mistakenly revealed the murder's identity on the first page, and spent the rest of the novel outlining a story about the detective buying a pair of pants. That is a boring mystery novel. Quirky. So, there are um, detective shows that do start out with, you sort of know who the murderer is, and the whole thing is, how did they do it, or how are they getting away with it? Uh, what else have we got lying around? Corn oil? Well, this game is meant to have sentient corn running around. A fruit crate? A sausage grinder, but something is jammed inside. Okay, that won't work. Can I jimmy it with this? Okay, so we need something to get that out. Press C to crouch, and C again to not crouch. You can do this forever. <laughs> Yee! I'm not going to do it forever, though, guys. A concealed switch. Oh, it is like a mystery novel. It's a secret passage behind a shelf. A shelf full of cans. Okay, well... Let's explore the rest up here first. I don't want to miss anything. An old sink that we can't do anything with. A bathtub plug. The sink is now plugged. Um, good. Powered coil in the sink. The smell is worse than I imagined. Okay, so we've filled the sink with rancid corn oil. Nail clippers. This is the weirdest inventory I have ever come across. Do I even want to know what we need nail clippers for? Probably not. I'm going to look upstairs anyway. Before we go down to the creepy basement. Ah! Okay, so we've placed that on the floor. Now what? Tip the wardrobe over with the broken shovel. I'm not sure why we did that, but okay. This farmhouse has been abandoned for a while, it seems. We've been invited somewhere. So we got that invitation. Knock on the big door and we'll say hi. I still don't know why we filled that sink up. I've got so many questions. If the irony is in the name game, you are definitely making a maze out of this. Oh, what have we got here? Bobby pin. I'm guessing we can use that to unjam the sausage machine. Let's give it a go. I like me some puzzles. Gonna be some other weird item. Oh no, they can't use that, but... May come in handy. I'm gonna head downstairs anyway. I think I've explored all there is up here. Hello, creepy basement. Need a fuse. Okay. I'm sure we can find one somewhere. I wonder... Okay, so we've got an exit. Didn't use the bobby pin for that, though. Oh, hello. So we've got an exit. And we've got a bobby pin. Still not entirely sure what we need said bobby pin for. We've got bobby pin, nail climbers, and an English muffin. I wonder if the muffin goes in the sink. That would be both hilarious and just strange. Still can't get that unclogged. Oh, wait, no, wait. I've got an empty bottle. Oh, no, I did have an empty bottle. Nail clippers? Bobby pin? No? You are weird, game. I don't think I ventured past here. I just went straight back. So maybe there's something else out here, apart from that key. 
Oh, there is another passage. Got a well. Boxes. Okay. Further into the corn maze we go. No matter how many times you press it, Q still does nothing. Was Q meant to do something, or is the game just messing with me at this point? Oh, hello, what we got here? A mediocre rock. An outhouse. A rusty nail jammed in the wall. Nail clippers got the nasty nail out, of course. This game's so weird. Well, we've got a rusty nail now. I'm proud of this accomplishment, I think. Let's head back to the house. This game is making me do weird things, and I'm not quite sure what to make of it yet. As far as my snapshot approach to gaming work, gaming challenge work is, this is uh, a big head scratcher. Well, the soundtrack does remind me of Portal a little bit. Can we use this nail? Oh, come on! We've got a rusty nail. I'm gonna have a little search around here, guys. Have a little look. Are you going to move now? No, nope, they're still blocking the way. Must be something I've missed. Oh, the fuse was already in there, so we used a rusty nail as a fuse instead. Because of course we did. Alright, let's hit the power, see what happens. It is slightly less dark than it was before. Of course we used a rusty nail as a... F I mean, this is a game supposedly about scientists that made sentient corn, so... The logic is probably there, somewhere. Okay. Fill it up, still can't access you. But... Now that we have some light, and some power. Ah! We've picked up a CD. Good for you! A new path is open to you, to the barn and the silo. And it's a top secret disc, so it's got lots of information. Well, I don't think there's anything more here for us. I'm just gonna have a quick rummage around. The light has revealed all. Let's go upstairs. I still... Oh, we didn't go up here. Oh, I'm being a bit naive. Not exploring all my surroundings. I got distracted. Hello, Nomi. Don't you know me? <laughs> Puns. Okay. Oh, hello. This should be... Uh, bobby pin? No. Okay, so we need an object that goes... I'm guessing this is the object that's jammed inside the sausage machine. Strainer. That's. I think it's a sausage strainer. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. What have we got here? Burnt lab report. Much of it can't be read, but the words abject failure appear several times. So does hurt feelings, sentient corn stalks, and why did we do this? Okay. I don't think there's anything else up here that I can use. But the pathways have cleared outside, so I think that's a good enough place to start. Question is, do I go to the silo or to the barn first? Questions, questions, questions. Alright. Uh, as it's close, well, as the entrance is closer, let's go to the barn. The mysterious boxes have moved. 
that are full of mega oranges. Yep, already figured that one out. Thanks, game. Um, beat you to that one. And don't worry, I'm still not trying to use Q. If you're stuck, remember to press E to examine your equipped items for clues. Ah. Oh. Smash something perfectly flat with this trusty tool, but remember, you can never unflatten things with this. It is the mallet's greatest weakness. An old CD, it's labelled Faded, pressed on the first batch of CDs ever created. This brand was notoriously expensive and even more unreliable, making even the greatest of symphonies sound like something a concussed elephant would snake while stumbling around a music shop. Extremely useful for picking a lock, but you mistakenly thought it was a pencil and wrote a very detailed account of your day up to that point, and didn't notice there was no ink until a few hours later. Sounds like something you would get out from a Monopoly card. Okay, so you can smack something to make it flat. I'm gonna walk around with the mallet. Or shoes, okay. Oh, one thing I've discovered in this game is you can't jump. A book titled Corn of the World. A book outlining the differences and similarities of corn species across the globe. Several chapters also discuss the colour yellow. A few species are circled in red pen while no, no, no appears in many places across the entire book in blue. The pen is blue. The colour of the goddamn pen is blue. Well, they are certainly teasing the reveal of these corn creatures. We have a broom. There's a pile of something or other you can sweep up with this, but you already knew that. What you didn't know is that this broom is haunted. This will not affect your adventure in any way, as the ghost is currently away on business. What? One half of a diagram. A diagram torn in half contains very complicated looking equations scribbled in orange pen, a drawing of a person, and a DNA helix. Looks very important. You tried to eat it at first, but changed your mind when you couldn't find any salt. Okay. Oh, get pumped. Now there's something inspirational to put on your, uh, your wall. I can only use the items, it seems, when I am interacting with something, so... Okay. Have we seen all there is to see in the barn? I believe so. Uh, I'm gonna circle round anyway, just in case. This is getting stranger and stranger. Oh, so the silo and the house are on the same path. Okay, well, we might as well continue to the silo then. Power generator, I'm guessing, that way? Possibly. Ah. Now I've got a bobby pin for this. Ha ha! Padlock, my greatest enemy. You have been conquered. And I... There we go. And I'm guessing this is the thing I can mop up with the broom. What is... This? That's the pliers to get the thing out. So something in the sausage grinder, you can remove these pliers. You know this because you spend an uncomfortable amount of time trying to pull it out with your hands, making no progress whatsoever. Well, this game's catching me out. A weathered, tattered blueprint. Though it's hard to make out, this blueprint looks like it's for the construction of a very large and very poorly planned facility with a farm situated on top of it. Aha! It's coming together now. The facility itself actually set an architectural record for having the largest number of corridors that lead absolutely nowhere. I'm definitely getting the impression this was, um... done half-assed. But, got what we needed, so I'm going to pull the thing out of that sausage grinder so hard. Um, let me guess, boxes. I don't know, I kind of want to explore everything. 
I'm not pressing Q. You're a weird game. Whoa, whoa. Oh, it's just, is it? Oh my god, is that actually a dead body? Severed hand. Perfectly preserved in the glove that encases it. It could come in handy. If you could give yourself a hand and find a way to loosen and get that glove off. The first pun was intended. The second was not. <laughs> I need to find a way to loosen and get the glove off. What's this? A fashionable fedora. Oh. Very fashionable fedora won by a very fashionable person. Due to this, you're not putting it on your head as if you've not earned the right. On the inner tag, the owner wrote his name, Fernando. Could he hear the drums? A charred name tag. It took you several hours of staring, but you managed to deduce that the name tag in fact belongs to the dead person it was near, and that his name is Fernando. It took you several more hours to notice that the dead person was a lab assistant, and then five more minutes to realise you were trying to read the thing upside down this entire time. Oh my word, this game is poking fun at me. I happen to find this to be a little bit cruel. Got a lunchbox. Can't go that way though. Anything else we need from around here? We need to get the glove off, because that's going to be our hand to get into the bunker. I don't know, is that when all the chaos is going to start? Well, I'm going to make my way back to the house anyway, and we'll get that thing out of the sausage machine. Okay. You're mine, sausage grinder. A warped key fob. That's what we need up in the bar. Is it the barn? No, no, it's upstairs in the house, but I can use the mallet for it. Let's make our way upstairs. Keep pressing space to jump. It's all gaming instincts catching up with me now. But... Now I just need that glove. It's good and flat. This flop is for smash perfectly flat so that you can't help but toss it like a frisbee to see how far it goes. You regret your decision immediately. Okay, so we've got a fob. Oh wait, hang on. This is a shot in the dark, but will that corn oil melt the glove off? Maybe. There's literally nothing else up here. Okay. Alright, game. I'll play your game, game. Now where is that sink? And there's our severed hand. Once we manage to tear away from giving ourselves an unending stream of high fives with this hand, you may want to find an actual use for it and it's not to start another round of high fives. Lovely. Okay, so we've got a hand. Oh wait, we've got all three items now. We've got a DNA helix, we've got a circular disc, and we've got the hand. So I think we can open that big door now. If I'm wrong, I'm going to be very, very, very wrong. Okay. Here goes nothing. Got the slot for the key. There we go. Open says Ami. What was that? Is it the corn? Hey! Hey! Hey. hey! Oh my god. You must answer a riddle before you're allowed to enter. <coughs> a what? doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You just gave that one away. Answer this one. What animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring. I'm Riddle President today. I get to pick. Mm -hmm. Born oh, is arguing yeah. about yeah, riddles. 
was he oh, president right, every time? Well, I bet you I did vote for clear him. on the election. Oh, we should just yeah, yeah, yeah. that. <laughs> I'm disturbed, guys. Every bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off, and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. At the third stop, twenty-five get off. So, which one of us is named Jim? Am I Jim? I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. Where's Bill? You're Bill. I oh, have that's right. nothing. You may I'm... as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. Have they been hiding there this entire time? Oh, and watch out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. Your brother? Well, that was unexpected. You're not wrong. What we got here? Hiya, Ted. Don't worry about it. I'll reset the elevator after a few more months of data. We overbrought on food pellets and have to get rid of them somehow. Bob, I told you to fix this elevator weeks ago. It takes hours for everyone to get in here because of your stupid experiment. Cordially, Ted. Yes, I did press a button. This game's freaking me out. We ate a pellet. Oh, we're descending. Um. Are we going to have to eat pellets to get the elevator moving? That was friggin' weird. But let's see what we've got lying in wait for us. Oh my god, these... Wow, that says a lot. Well, I did say the laboratory was sort of put together half-assed. A brochure for, for the facility. A flashy bro brochure that appears to be part of the proposed tour of the facility, which includes what Bob thought a modern child looked like. Most of the brochure is red redacted except for the walking sentient corn on the front, which we've just met. Okay. My god, Bob. What is this? Did you actually have the gall to commission a bronze statue of yourself? It'll cost us a fortune, you narcissistic dolt. Cordially, Ted. Hiya, Ted. Don't worry, I got a good deal on it. Commission these statues in bulk. I think they really spruce up the facility, especially for the tour. Could be a bit moneymaker for us, Bob. Bob, you are so, so very stupid. What about the term classified? Don't you understand? We can't host any tours, moron. And don't think I didn't notice you put one near the farmhouse. Repeat, classified. Put it away, idiot. Yeah, we kind of saw that already. A painted portrait. Okay, we've only got the muffin at the moment in terms of useful items. So that's Ted, and this is Bob. I'm guessing they were what, partners? For this facility? Not bad. Not bad at all, DIY secret lair. Would you guys like some really hard rock breakfast? Alright, box is blocking that way. Can we get in here? No. And that blueprint did say something about endless corridors that go absolutely nowhere. <laughs> uh... Oh. Oh, this looks colourful. Hey, hey! Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I can't jump. Aww. We're gonna have a ball! This game makes puns. I like it. We now have a teddy bear. A Soviet knockoff of a famous American teddy bear, which says a variety of friendly Russian sayings when powered up. His name is Vladi, according to the tag. Looks grumpy. Toy sword. Fake meat. Oh, we got more post-its. Um, have I missed any post-its? I like reading these two. The fact they communicate in post-its is just hilarious. Bob, you lazy buffoon. I know you're sending all your time here and not signing the giant stack of paperwork I left at your desk. Stop playing with your toys and do your job. Cordially, Ted. 
And also, for the thousandth time, why do we even have a daycare? There are no children here. Halfwit. Sounds like uh, dear old Bob's a bit of a big kid. Be ready for a great year. So corny. Huh. I didn't even mean to do that one. An extremely obvious fake panel. Okay, we need something to loosen it. Oh, another gym. Any more post-its from Bob and Ted? Ted, do you want your teddy? A dumbbell. Try as you might, you are unable to lift this more than two times in quick succession, and yet somehow you continue to carry it with you wherever you go. This is weird. Just weird. A triumphant test report. The only way this report could sound more triumphant is if it, trumpets were blared every time it was read. Explains the promising results after examining one of the new sentient corn stalks. A breed of ruby queen corn that shows high levels of intelligence. It also glosses over the fact that this specimen is somehow female, which is apparently impossible under the genetic protocol that the facility used to create them. Okay, I'm going to come away from this snapshot with more questions than answers, aren't I? A sweaty headband. This sweaty headband imbues the wearer with the ability to walk at a slightly brisker pace than normal for short periods of time. It's not worth the risk. Okay. Oh, these are some ugly shower rooms. Oh, what we got here? A nondescript rock. A run-of-the-mill rock with no defining features whatsoever to discern it from the billions of other rocks currently in existence. Its name is Mabel. Is this game taking the mick? Is it taking up yes? Out of picking up random objects in a video game? I am loving the meta commentary right now. Uh, so that's the nursery. Let's go back down this way. That's where we just came from. Anything else? Oh. Oh. Robotics room. Ah, so this is a teddy. We need other objects. Oh, this is the teddy from, like, the, um, promotions. We're gonna build a bear. A Grippatron. Ooh, are we making our own Frankenstein-like creation? An old computer. What's this? Bob, you disgusting slob. Don't you know how to read? Stop eating in here, glutton. Cordially, Ted. Love how they insult each other, but always finish off. Ted always insults Bob, but always very polite with his sign-off. Bob, you jerk. You put my ram back where it was. I know you took it and hid it in that stupid spot of yours. Bring it back here. Cordially, Ted. Uh, okay. Oh, here we are. Is this not where this goes? Bob, stop playing your stupid games on my computer. It's screwing up with my AI experiments, idiot. As its name suggests, this computer is old. You get a sense that it could use an upgrade, and then you spend several moments trying to figure out what the word upgrade means. Okay. Do we need to tinker around with this? Oh. It's an official guidebook for the tour of the facility. A large portion of the text inside has been redacted, but 20 pages are fully dedicated to the giant vats, and mostly repeat the refrain that the vats are very large and contain things that should stay in very large vats. Oh, wow, we've got a full-on communication here. Hiya, Ted. The latest brochure came back from the press. Take a look. Think it will really boost the tour, and you'll be happy to know that the most sensitive bits have been redacted. Safety first. Bob, first, you're an idiot. That in brochure is incredibly stupid. Second, for the last time, no tours. Third, if you're going to make this stupid brochure, at least add my name to it. We're co-research heads, remember? As in same title, jerk. Hi, Ted. Really sorry, but the final print has been done and sent off. I'll make doubly sure the next one has your name underneath mine in front of the front, Bob. That's like one of those cheesy, um, 
talk show hosts. Good God, Bob. Do you have the re- Bob? Sounds like the boss from The Incredibles. Bob, do you have the reading comprehension of a five-year-old? This is a top-secret facility. Where did you send those brochures, moron? Oh, hello. What's this? Oh, hang on. I need to crouch. Okay. Now we can place the computer on the desk. I still only have a muffin and a sweaty headband. Okay. Let's see what else is around here. Might be something a bit more useful. More post-its. Uh, well, I always like reading these two talking to each other. Hey, you Ted. Notice that you took down the painting in the lobby. Thanks. It had a blemish on it. No sweat, though. Here's another one. Be a pal and put it up, would you please? Bob, I'm not putting up another one of your paintings. The self-indulgent louse. For God's sake, how many did you order? Cordially, Ted. And why is my face on that stupid horse? Cordially, Ted. Wow, these guys are morons. I love it. Okie dokie. I don't know which way I came. Uh, I think I came down that way, so let's go right. Whoa, that is a lot of rubbish. Oh, these are their offices. So this is Bob's office. Wow, that is a lot of cups and a lot of bagels. Oh, sugar donuts. Oh, here's the backpack that we need for uh, our little experiment back in the lab. Another post-it. Bob, you disgusting slob. Until you clean up after yourself, I am blocking your entrance into the bathroom. I'm tired of calling in the hazmat team every week, moron. Cordially, Ted. Okay. I am getting the distinct impression that Bob and Ted don't like each other. A small screwdriver. Bob's favorite screwdriver used to pry open Bob's secret storage spot. It is completely useless for removing screws, but makes a nice ping noise when tapped against the metal railing. Okay, so that's Bob's secret spot where he hides his, um... Well, I'll have to keep an eye out for that then. I haven't come across anything that could be used. Hmm. Well, let's go check out uh, Ted's office then. Scrap paper. Bob liked his takeout. Crikey, look at the pizzas. Let us pose another query. If a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? Hmm, interesting conundrum. What kind of tree? Bird. Oh, it's more corn. Yes, but only after lunchtime. Is it wearing a lot of bells? Some, but not many. Is it? What are they doing down here? This is so strange. Golden no. toilet seats, really? An etch a sketch. A major improvement over the sketch of 2000 is it features the ability to actually draw lines instead of instructing children to stare at the screen and imagine the drawing in their minds. You feel like using it to draw a large face owing to your fascination with four heads. An invoice for an opulent bathroom. That's Ted's writing, I'm guessing. The invoice for this incredibly extravagant bathroom calls for marble steps leading up to two extravagant toilets and a sink encrusted with gold. Cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Ted left it on Bob's toilet seat with a very pointed statement on a financial culpability. We've got an Etch-a-Sketch. Um, excuse me, fellas. C can I talk to you? Hi, hi. A misprinted memo. A memo from the US government directed to a re secret research facility, name of which is redacted. It contains an incomprehensible directive to do something with corn, including an even more comp incomprehensible sum of money for the budget. 1983. So these guys got a memo from the government and made sentient corn. 
A schedule outlining the work shifts of the entire facility staff. Most notable are the shifts for the two founders. They are completely opposite of each other. Oh man, look at the vines. What are those guys looking at? Oh, look at them. They're still blinking. It's so weird. All right. The snapshot is almost at an end, so I'm going to see if I can put together my little friend back in that lab. And we'll go from there. Oh, I found a jumpsuit. Made out of material that looks like it will fall apart than your thought of a gentle breeze. This jumpsuit should not be worn by anyone. Okay. Oh, security station. I did put the uh, backpack with that teddy bear, by the way. Why do we need a coat rack? Good for hanging coats, unless it is placed upside down, in which case it is not effective at all. Reserve power mode activated. Appears to be a report on the warfare readiness of the subjects of Project Maze. The report states multiple times that the sentient corn had no discernible method of raising or operating a military firearm, and have a habit of taking naps right in the middle of the test. The term abject failure also appears all over the document, a running theme on many reports involving the corn. I'm starting to think these guys got the wrong end of the stick. I need to find Bob's secret place. I have no idea what to use this coat rack on, but I have it, and a jumpsuit. This game is getting very weird. Ted, Ted, got huge news. I got us a huge deal on jumpsuits for the facility. I got thousands in bulk at a fraction of the price. I've already used the savings for some great stuff. Bob, you idiot, you got a good deal on them because they are completely useless. Nobody can wear them. Looks like Bob was just kind of flying by the seat of his pants. That's an invoice for a large amount of jumpsuits. Oh, hello. We might be able to open this, actually. Oh, this is it. There it is. Hiya, Ted. Just a heads up. I put your ram right here. This way it gets less dusty. Oh, bless him. He was trying to be helpful. I think we can use this ram on that computer now, actually. The old computer has been upgraded. It's not your best work. But this looks like what we need for good old Ted. Whoa. What? What are you looking at? Something on Vladdy's face? Oh, Why God. Why do you not talk? Do you understand? Yes. Understand what Vladdy is saying. <sighs> Butso boy, you're a big idiot. How you survive by being stupid? Maybe. <sighs> Fine. Vladdy, help. <sighs> oh. Why guys so many? Huh? What is this on Vladdy's back? Something to this help makes you? No sense. All of this is very stupid. Yeah. So, where we go? You've acquired Vladdy. You're prepared to be insulted forever. Okay. Right. I'm going to have to call it at that for this um, snapshot, guys. Uh, this game was weird. Um, I feel like we're just getting into the meat of the story here. But I think we're in for some random times with sentient corn, a Russian teddy bear, and some sweatbands. I don't know quite what else to make of this. But this has been a good fun ride, so I'm looking forward to, um, who knows, we might return to this later on. So as always, guys, if you want to see more of this game, all you have to do is just let me know down in the comments. Any sort of feedback would be great. Um, love to hear from you. And if you're checking it out, thank you so much for watching. But I will see you guys soon. So take care and bye-bye.